ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ए रिले दैट इज एन इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल रिले विद इन दैलस्टेट डॉट कॉम ऑनलाइन सिमुलेटर फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट नो दैट फेलस्टेड इज एन ऑनलाइन सिमुलेटर एंड यू आर नॉट सपोज टू इंस्टॉल एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ software for in order to simulate your circuits so you just need to write www.fuelstat.com uh, on your google or on your browser and uh, this window will pop up now in order to simulate the relay in this simulator we will go to draw and we will go for our some thing like a in passive components and we will click on relay so this is our relay here in this relay you can see uh, two types or two uh, main divisions like uh, one is the coil uh, pins two uh, one coil and two pins and one is the uh, three uh, pins which, which which is which are having one uh, floating connection so this connection is connected between common and normally closed while normally open is this point okay now when uh, at this time the coil is not energized so that this floating connection is connected with the nc pin when we will give the voltage to the coil that is 5 volt then what will happen that due to the magnetic action this floating contact will move from this point to this point and uh, nor uh, this common pin and normally open pin will be connected with each other okay now for better understanding let's start simulation so we will go to draw we will go for input and sources and we will go for ac voltage okay okay so we can change it to dc volt if we want okay so this is our dc supply now we will go for our what's called as the uh, push button so we will go for push button okay so this is our push button now we need to connect our uh, push button with the one side of the a relay coil okay so this is our okay now this is and the other side of the push button with the 5 volt supply or like this okay the other end of the coil must be connected with the ground so we will go and we will take our ground like this and okay, like this now we will take one another supply okay we will copy and we will paste it out like this and we will change this supply to 3 volt because our led is sorry it's 3 volt because we want to run our led on this supply now take the led as well so LED okay sorry now this is our LED now this is our LED we need to connect our LED here and the other side of the LED must be connected with another ground so we will take it we will And like this okay the other end that is the 3 volt must be connected with the with the common pin of the relay like this okay now now we will uh, try to simulate so we will run it now we can see that our push button is in off condition so our open condition when we will make it like this 
it must have to behave like uh, okay wait okay we, we have to run our simulation okay so now our simulation is running now now you can see that when our coil is going to energize our floating uh, pin will move from this pin to this pin and our what's called as the LEDR device will become on you can use any other device instead of this LED so you can okay so like this and so you can um, use any sort of device okay it's uh, up to your choice it, this device usually is of high voltage so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use the relay within the felstech.com online simulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel